May is Mental Health Awareness Month. How much are you aware about your own mental health? Mental illness is a brain disorder that affects a person's thinking, feeling, mood, behavior, and energy. Common mental illnesses include depression, anxiety, ADHD, bipolar disorder, OCD, and schizophrenia. These conditions may be occasional or chronic, which can affect a person's ability to cope daily life. According to WHO, 1 billion people of the world live with various mental health issues and suicide is the second leading cause of death among young people. How we think, feel and act is determined by our mental health. It is important to know that mental and physical health are equally important components of our overall health. Mental illnesses are very common in Maldives as well. According to the Health Ministry, more than 2,500 people sought treatments for mental disorders within the first six months of opening of mental department in a GMH. Sadly, just half of those affected are aware of their conditions, symptoms and treatment options available here, mainly due to the strong stigma with mental illnesses in the society. Have you known how much of the population has been affected mentally by the COVID-19 pandemic? According to a study conducted in Maldives, 56% of males and 68% of females has been greatly affected since COVID-19 pandemic, which is very much of a concern. These people may be your family, friends, colleagues or neighbours. Mental disorder mainly results from problems with the communication between neurons in the brain. Some warning signs for mental illness include extreme mood swings, excessive anxieties, thinking or talking about suicide, changes in eating or sleeping patterns, and inability to cope with problems and daily activities. Although the exact cause of mental illness are unknown, there are some factors that put individuals at risk. Some of these factors are environmental, genetic, and some are social. Communication barriers in families, unemployment, death of a family member or close friend, and divergence from families are all associated with mental health issues like anxiety and depression. Cultural differences, loneliness, racism, the stigma of finding help, and an unawareness of available resources may all raise these issues. It is important that we all are well aware of these risk factors and symptoms from an early age. Right now, as we speak, the world is going through a devastating pandemic and it has affected the most basic parts of our lives. Self-isolation and quarantine have become the norm because they are effective ways to remove this virus from our lives. But it doesn't mean they don't have negative impacts. The most noticeable effects can be observed from within ourselves. The disconnection from our family, friends and society has led to increased concern for the mental health of the individuals. It has been hypothesized that the rise in depression, insomnia, drug and alcohol abuse and other conditions are results of it. One study showed that the global prevalence of depression during COVID-19 was 24% while anxiety was at 21.3%. In addition, concerns raised by the disturbance in the economy, increase in the abundance of misinformation and lack of proper communication have further impacted the mental health of the public. The most apparent impact has been the domestic violence against children and women. The escape from their situations has been limited so such cases have been rising in different parts of the world. As we all are familiar, social media has been helping in this difficult time to stay connected to our family and friends. It has also helped People report to authorities and raise awareness on the domestic violence and seeking help. There are several mental health institutes and clinics in Maldives now. They offer medications and psychotherapy by professionals. For most mental health disorders, a combination of treatments is more effective than either one by itself. Coping with a mental illness is challenging due to the strong stigma within the community. In the past, People with mental illness were often placed in institutions or hospitals. They were removed from the society and often blamed for lack of faith. However, as people are getting more aware on the topic, these people get a chance to live productively like others in the community with the help of the advanced resources and modes of treatment. 
which enable them to seek help within the comfort of their own homes without the fear of being stigmatized. If there is one thing for you to take from this video, it is that no matter where you are in life, no matter how low you have sunk, no matter how bleak your situation is, this is not the end. This is not the end of your story. You will find that this tough moment will pass and use the suffering that you are going through right now to build a stronger character for yourself. Don't be afraid to ask for help, for support, to talk someone about your struggles. Please don't hesitate to seek any help for mental health like you seek treatment for your physical health. During this COVID-19 pandemic, there are several social support centers that offer free mental health services for you. If you need any kind of help, please do not hesitate to call these centers. Center for Mental Health, IGMH phone number 7942403, Society for Health Education phone number 3318804 and Red Crescent hotline number 1425.